Hello everybody, Mealworm here. Um, we are still in the test server today, and in this video we're going to go through the new command burst modules. Um, this is not going to go over the ships in detail that use these, this is just going to be an overview of the modules, what they do, and their skills, and then how they look when used out on the grid. So, first and foremost, these modules can only be used by the command ships. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. One, all of the ships have command in the name. And then two, when you're in the ship information, it has to say can fit command bursts. There's no other ships that can do that. There are the battle cruisers. There's a T8 and T10s, and then some T8 destroyers that can also fit these. And those are the only ones. So don't expect to slap this onto your interceptor or you know, onto your cruisers and expecting it to work. So let's actually kick in. Now, you'll be able to find these. These are mid slots, so they'll be under mid slots. And here at the bottom, you'll have command modules. There are three different types, uh, shield, armor, and skirmish, and we will get into those differences here in a little bit. What I do want to go through first are the similarities and how they're going to work as a, as, a, as a group of modules. So this whole top section here is basically going to be the same across all of them. Uh, and so we'll go through these really quick. We have simultaneous activations and simultaneous modules. Activations mean that only one boost can be active at a time. So if you're in a fleet with multiple shield bursts, multiple armor bursts, multiple skirmish bursts, that means that you can only get bonuses from one of them. Uh, you cannot uh, stack them up, only one at a time. Simultaneous modules means that only one of each type can be fit on a ship so you can fit one of each but you cannot double or triple up on them the the fitting menu will actually take it offline and tell you that you've reached the maximum number of modules the other one here is only available within fleet one this basically just means the your other pilots capsuleers have to be in fleet with you to get the boost now uh, you'll see later in the video and i've also tested this it is independent of squads or FC. As long as they're within that greater fleet, you'll be able to give and receive the boost from these command bursts. The middle stuff here, power grid and uh, fuel consumption, these will change based on the meta level of them. Uh, in this case, we're looking at the core, the meta level eights. So all of the all of the core metal level eights, regardless of the type, will use the same power grid of the same range and use the same fuel consumption. Um, and as you go down, those will also go down. The activation time, reload time, and duration is the same between all of them. They work just like the group modules in that way. When you turn them on, they'll keep cycling indefinitely as long as you do have fuel in your cargo to use them and they'll just keep on cycling around and around so those are the similarities between all of them now we can actually go ahead and dive into the actual boosts that they provide and we'll start here with shield if we swipe on down we will see uh, shield booster capacitor need and remote shield booster capacitor need pretty self-explanatory there it's going to reduce the cap cost for boosters both for your personal shield and the remote shields for those lodges keep them cap stable even longer you'll see it's also going to give the flat percentage increase to shield and a flat percentage increase to shield resistance now that is going to be resistances across the board of all different damage types um, these boosts here will change depending on the meta level as well. So that's the shield command burst. Now its counterpart, uh, obviously, is going to be the armored command burst. And so you'll see same information here. And let's take a look at its bonuses. Much like the shield, it's going to reduce the capacitor need for armor repairs and remote armor repairs, just like before. Same goes for the boost, flat boost to armor. 
and flat boost to armor resistances. And you will notice the armor resistance is higher than the boost given from the shield, and that is the same for all of the different levels. Um, armor resistances are always given higher than the shield resistances. So there's that. And then the one that's in its own class is the Skirmish. Now this is my favorite and certainly the most interesting of them. As always, same information here as we're looking at the same meta level, but it's boosts. These are rad. So Afterburner, Velocity Bonus, and Warp Drive Boost Bonus. This basically just means if a ship is in fleet and within range of this burst, when that Afterburner or Warp Drive uh, cycle and activate, they will receive a speed bonus to them. They will go wicked fast, especially if you've got tiny little frigates zipping around you, they're just gonna fly even faster. The next is the tackle modules. Uh, so that's the warp disruptor, warp scrambler, and the web are all gonna get optimal range bonuses just to let you start kicking those off from even further away. And then the, uh, I, these are my favorite. It reduces the signature radius. Now, these bonuses do apply to yourself if you're giving them out as well as everyone. So this will reduce the signature radius as well as the inertia modifier. So you'll be able to uh, pivot and orbit faster. You'll be able to turn and align faster as well while you're in the range of these command bursts. So that's basically all three of those um, there's only three there's not a lot to them now in eve online there were things called scripts where you could actually you'd actually go in and, and configure what boosts you're going to give out it's all simplified here for echoes and it's just going to give all of them out just like the group capacitors do now for each type of command module there is an associated skill You'll find that in electronics and fleet support. It's no longer empty. Now I've I've put five five into each of these, just to save some of my free reskills here on test. Uh, the the skill points required for each of these are are universal. So it was about uh, eight to nine million SP to get to five five on each of these. So if you want to spread thin, you can do that. If you want a hard spec, you can also do that. Um, the boosts or the skills just increase everything. Um, it reduces the fuel cost that it takes to activate these, so it eats those plasmoids of those heavy waters a lot slower. Increases the range and then just boosts up all of the different things that it boosts as well. So it makes it even lower cap usage, even more shield boost, and even more resistance boost. And that's going to be the same for, I don't know why it goes shield skirmish armor here but same thing here you'll see fuel cost range and then the boost now the all three of the levels the basic advanced and expert give the same types of bonuses just in varying amounts so you don't have to get too advanced for certain bonuses like fuel cost or anything so that's the skills essentially just to use those um, on top of obviously the actual piloting skills you have for battle cruisers or destroyers respectively whatever you're going to be using so let's go ahead and we can show you what this is going to look like out on the grid let's go ahead and undock here we can undocking to this now over here on this screen, um, I've just got another one of my characters. I'm in an interceptor right now. And you'll see my tunes are in different squads right now. So we're just going to go ahead and warp on out. People playing around. Lots and lots of good fun here on the test server. So on this uh, interceptor warp here, I've got a micro warp drive, one of each of the tackle modules, and then I've got a armor repair and a shield booster. So we'll be able to go through each of the different modules here. This is what they look like here. This is this is a group armor, so don't even look at that. We've got the shield, the skirmish, and the armor. So because of the because of the 550 skills as well as the bonus from the Myrmidon 2 
command the range on these is massive we were at 40.5 kilometers so that is that is amazing so what we're gonna do is over here let's go ahead and orbit and we're gonna turn on the micro warp drive because we're gonna kick off with the skirmish module first so if we take another look back here at what the skirmish module is going to boost up for us you'll see extra extra boost here because of skills and the ship bonus. So we're gonna get an afterburner velocity bonus, uh, optimal ranges for all the tackle modules, signature radius, and inertia modifier. So if we really wanted to, what we can go through here is we can get a before and after. So I've actually already done that. So we'll take a look here. So our speed, we are at 39.75. And then the ranges of our Scrambler, 1375, the Web, 11.2, the Disruptor, 22.5. Now our signature radius right now is here. We are at 156. And then there is not a value for inertia anymore in the fitting screen. But what I'm going to do here to kind of show that there is a change to it is we're going to take a look at the warp preparation time. As inertia goes down, so will this warp prep. So here we are. Let's go ahead and we can actually watch our speed massively increase here. And let's kick off the skirmish module. Now these will give you a weapon timer. So if you're in high sec or low sec, just know that. There we go. So now we can already see that our speed has increased quite a bit. And we have this little icon here that we are getting a skirmish command burst. So let's pop back into fittings and we can go ahead and verify these boosts that we've received. So like we've already seen, our speed is now 4435. Our now we can take a look at our ranges here from 13.75 to 15, from 11.2 to 12.3, and from 22.5 to 24.8. So we've received uh, range bonuses to these. Now these are just Mark V's. What I had, uh, this is a Republic fleet. I think these are Mark V's, just whatever I had laying around in hangar. So the better modules and the ships with bonuses to them will get even more bonuses. Now, if we go ahead and take a look next at our signature radius, we're now at 144. Now, granted, this is an interceptor, so its signature radius is already minuscule. But if you've got bigger ships or even guardians, um, other um, other command ships, armor links, logies, this is just going to heavily reduce those signature radiuses. Alrighty, then up next, then inertia. Again, there's not a value for inertia, but we can check our warp prep is now 1.61. So we've gotten all of those buffs from, in this case, 34 kilometers away. Very, very rad. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one die down. I guess we'll keep the, we'll keep the micro warp drive on, why not? We'll let this go away. Let's go ahead and remove that. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do the shield ones next. So we'll take a look up here. We'll go back into our fitting screen. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and pop this up. I've already done the hard work for us. So our capacitor right now is gonna be 35.3. The We don't have a remote booster, but it will work in the same fashion. Our actual shield value right now is 774 and those resists are 0, 20, 46, and 50. So now let's go ahead and pop our shield bursts and then we'll wait. So we're already getting that shield command burst. So let's swing back into our fitting screen. We can take a look. So Right now, the capacitor needed for the booster is now at 32. So since these are small modules, the percent decrease is not a lot. This is really just the proof of concept to kind of show you how that it's all working. So that boost is lower. Now let's take a look at our shield values. 
we're up to 837 and you'll see we now have resistances uh, we're now at 9 27 51 and 55 so then I think we can all guess what's gonna happen next is we're gonna go through the armor command bursts so just to get ahead of the curve here we're gonna pop this on just like before it's going to update our activation cost that is currently at 36.4 our armor oh I do not have 3,000 armor so that needs I don't even know how that ended up so let's go ahead and fix that really quick our current armor is 924 I think I read the top value there we go 924 armor and then those resistances are 50 35 36 and 10 here we are so now let's swing over into here pop open that I actually quite like how these uh, how these look when you when you shoot them off I think they look better than the group modules so there we are you can see we've got the armored command burst on both sides here and if we swing into fittings we can go ahead and verify these so our activation cost for our night small armor repair is now down to 33 our armor value itself is now choo -choo -choo, armor. there we go 10 15 and you'll see those resistances have gone up to now 57 44 45 and 22 so like I said before the boosts to armor resistances are higher than the boost to shield resistances that's just one of those things too Nettie's has been working to try to get armor to be balanced in a good place now let's do some fun stuff here you can actually use all three of these at once for what is a magical rainbow of fleet boosting power and if we wanted to we could go back again into fittings we could verify you know our extra boost to everything all that we really wanted to do here so that's basically how they're going to work now obviously this is a this is a closed course so the way that you want this to work is going to be up to you how you want those fleet compositions if you're ratting you can use the skirmish modules to reduce that signature radius and get um, get faster micro warp drive or afterburners for more speed tanking if you are um, you know if you're trying to go down and gun someone down or gate camp you can make sure that everyone's able to rep so it really does open itself up to a lot of cool changes here and how that fleet composition is going to be very very exciting stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and dock Warp up here active. in the station oh this might actually blow me up oh well so basically that was all good fun is what the command modules look like I'm gonna show you what happens when you have one active and you go to dock in a high sec station because I actually probably should get blown up by Concord here Uh, okay, so I'm not getting blown up. I'm just being denied access to dock. That's fair. I guess it's a weapons timer, not a crime timer. So do be aware of that if you're flying around out here in the test server in high sec like I am, just pulling modules and docking doing fits. request accepted. Now, as always, if you have any questions, my Discord is in the description. Lots and lots of videos coming out this week. Thank you for hanging on, and I will see you all in space.